It's been over 10 years that GTA Online has been a thing, and with its latest DLC, the Chop Shop DLC, Rockstar aims to bring us back Yusuf Amir and also a brand new business, which of course is very exciting. Brand new business, Yusuf Amir being in his old school self, just done a great job, the original actor is back for him, the humor and well the way that he acts is exactly the same as it would be in the battle of the gate tony like it's been a joy seeing him back and bringing us some joy once again but of course no 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 my dear boy if you thought that this dlc was going to be what you wanted to be don't no, think again think again because uh, there are three contracts that you can do on the computer inside of the chop shop and or salvage yard. These missions I've played once so far are pretty good. They are doing some new things. They are implementing a new way of utilizing free roam, which you would normally probably do in an actual contact mission and having to launch that, etc. But it seems to be that Rockstar is experimenting with basically having to press right on your D-pad on your controller or E on PC to receive a phone call. And then you will be able to just go to a location, do the mission, and then bring that back to your salvage yard or even physically place it on the location where you'll be able to find it later inside the Fanati mission. This is a cool little innovation, which I was actually surprised and also very happy to see. But as per fucking usual, there is a catch to every single GTA Online DLC that makes it frustrating, makes it annoying, and for some reason they decide that this is the way to go. Because what do we need in GTA Online right now? Say it with me, everyone. Replayability. Replayability. Well done, everyone. Round of applause for well done. You guess it correctly. Now, if only Rockstar would be thinking the exact same thing, we wouldn't have these three contracts being able to be done once a week. Yes, you can only play each individual contract just a one time every single week. You then have to wait until the weekly reset next Thursday until you can play it again. Why? Just, just, just why? Why can we not replay this contract again and again? Because it is a new piece of content and we would like to explore it. Why is there only three of them? Why do we have to wait until we can play them again? It's new content, it's replayable content, it is fun, it is enjoyable, and people want to keep playing it over and over and over again because it's new and it's exciting. But for some reason, we seem to have to wait an entire week until we can play it again. The missions don't really pay out all that well to begin with if you think about it from a realistic perspective. Hypothetically speaking, if you were able to replay these, you would still not be making as much money as you would be with something like a Kyber Rico heist or with a casino heist. So from a money-making perspective, it wouldn't be worth the grind your ever-living face off. I just don't understand. I don't understand. Dance, right? Everyone wants GTA 6. We get it. G Rockstar is not really that interested. They're just trying to stretch this out as much as they can and have people come back every week so they can, you know, keep the player numbers up and stuff like that. But this is not the way to do it. You finally have an interesting piece of content being added to the game, something that resonates with people. Yusuf Amir, his cousin, the chop shop stuff, a little business, you know. Like, I don't think anyone's gonna sit there and just grinding out a tow truck, which again, you can only have two cars being salvaged at the time. So there is no replayability in this DLC again. And this is the DLC that's gonna have to carry us over from December all the way until fucking July. Because you guessed it, it's GTA Online in 2023 with DLCs that have no replayability and also do not have anything meaningful added and you can wait until six months later and probably get the exact same thing. Now, I get it. Me ranting on about GTA Online after 140 million people have seen a GTA 6 trailer 
seems a little bit out of the blue. We all want GTA 6, but I think it is kind of vital that up until GTA 6 is released, the GTA Online is still the primary GTA title that everyone is playing and thus deserves a love and care or at the very least meaningful replayable updates that can hold us over until GTA 6 launches. I understand that me going on about GTA Online and oh no, it deserves a love and care and da 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 sounds really pathetic when GTA 6 does look as good as it does and literally everyone wants GTA 6 instead of keeping playing GTA Online, but we're stuck with it for yet another year plus. So at the very least, if you're bringing out updates, don't make dumb decisions like this. People are playing the DLC, they want stuff to be replayable. I'm sure that when you're developing and making stuff like this and still releasing DLCs for it, you want people to stick around. If you're gonna do three contracts on a weekly rotation, no one is going to play the game for longer than about two hours, only to come back maybe next week. But let's be honest, if you played them before, there's no way you're gonna wait a week to play them again. I don't understand these baffling decisions being made every single time with every single DLC. And guess what? People's stuff for the career challenges have been reset as well with the smugglers run. And the people that contact Ross to support, what do they get told? Sorry bro, wait until the next title update. IN SIX FUCKING MONTHS! Oh well, at least it's not the new Avatar game. Could be worse.